Welcome to the Nintendo Power Zone guys, it's your boy Nice One. We are back with a brand new unboxing video and what we have here today is the final Pokemon Pop in Wave 2 and it's Mr. Mime. I know this video came out a little bit later than the rest but he finally came in today. I don't know why he was the only one that was delayed but it is what it is. Anyway guys, Mr. Mime is one of the creepiest Pokemon of all time. I have never really liked this one. It's got this like creepy uncanny valley thing going on like to the 10th degree. But anyway guys, we got Mr. Mime here on the table. Let's go ahead and take a look at the box. So we got Mr. Mime outside of the box and one thing I want to make note of is that he is the third Pokemon Pop to come with a stand. The other two being the Waving Pikachu and the Mewtwo Pop which is also part of Wave 2. It doesn't really need the stand as you can see but let's go ahead and show you what it looks like with the stand on. Alright so we've put Mr. Mime on his base and take a look this is pretty accurate. I mean it's also really creepy. It is not my favorite design simply because Mr. Mime is not one of my favorite designs but as far as accuracy is concerned I do think Funko did a damn good job of getting those creepy feels that Mr. Mime gives me. <laughs> I can't really fault Funko on this design they did a good job. The one thing that really trips me out is how good they did on the fingers. Mr. Mime does have these like frog like human hands it's weird but yeah, they did a good job of capturing that. The look on his face is also priceless as well. I think they did a good job, and as far as paint is concerned, yeah, this is on point. Funko did not do a bad job painting this guy. So, pretty impressed with this pop, despite the fact that it's giving me creepy vibes. Alright guys, it is comparison time and what we have here is all for the Pokemon Pops from Wave 2. Pichu, Vulpix, Mewtwo, and of course, Mr. Mime. This set looks amazing standing side by side. Now the scale isn't what I would like it to be, especially since some of these Pokemon should be much larger than others. But as far as their designs are concerned, they did a phenomenal job on this wave. Alright, moving on with comparison time, we went ahead and grabbed all the Pokemon Pop from Wave 1. So we have Pikachu, Bulbasaur, Squirtle, Charmander, Waving Pikachu, Eevee. So this is a set of 10. This is complete as of right now, as far as the Forge Pops are concerned. And they look fantastic. They really do. This is exactly what I wanted when Funko announced this line. And they've done such a fantastic job. Absolutely love what I'm seeing here. Alright guys, we're going even further. We went ahead and grabbed all the 10 inch Funko Pokemon Pop that have been released up to this point. So we are up to 15, a complete series of Funko Pokemon Pop. And they look great. And knowing that 
the 4 and Wave 2 are already going to get 10 inches. We know Vulpix is getting one, and we know Mewtwo is getting one, and they are Target exclusive. That has been confirmed. It just means we're going to get a Pichu and a Mr. Mime in the 10 inch scale as well. And guys, I don't have any more room on the table. I don't know what I'm going to do. This is insanity, but I love what I have here. These are amazing. These are incredible parts of my collection, and I am so happy with what Funko's done. These are absolutely incredible. I am ecstatic to have a full set, at least as of now. We do know that Cubone and an Angry Pikachu and a few others are coming out in the near future. It's never going to stop. I'm surprised we're getting a third Pikachu, especially after we just got a Pichu in this way, but it is what it is. Funko is just going to keep milking this for all it's worth, and I'm here for the ride. Alright ladies and gentlemen, it is score time, my favorite time. Why? Because I get to tell you whether or not something is actually worth your hard earned money. So this is retailing at $11.99, I got mine at GameStop, and uh, as always guys, let's go ahead and start with the appearance. As far as its appearance is concerned, this is Mr. Mime. This gives off all the creepy vibes that Mr. Mime gives off when I see him in the game or when I see him in films like Detective Pikachu. They did such a good job, especially on things like the hands. Mr. Mime has creepy fingers that look like they come off a frog and they've recaptured that here. This is perfect, right down to his little elf shoes and the paint. The paint is immaculate on mine. No scuffs, nothing out of place. They've done such a phenomenal job. As far as its appearance is concerned, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a 10. Moving on to its build quality. It's a four inch pop. It doesn't have the same level of quality that you see in the 10 inch line. But something I wanna make note of is, is how well put together this is. There are a few disconjointed pieces like the legs are separate attachments and the arms are as well. But They've done such a good job of putting this figure together that it doesn't seem like it. This is not the same kind of problem we had with the Vulpix. The Vulpix is an outright nightmare by comparison. They've just done such a good job on Mr. Mime. It looks perfect. The build quality is pretty flawless. So for its build quality, I'm going to go ahead and give it a 6. So we gave it a 10 for its appearance. A 6 for its build quality, its final score is an 8 out of 10, it gets our Nintendo Power Zone seal of quality and it deserves it. Funko has done, yet again, an amazing job in capturing the essence of Pokemon while conforming it to the Funko Pop format. It's incredible what they've been able to do. They have set new standards for themselves and I hope they apply them to other lines outside of Pokemon in the future because I don't just collect Funko Pokemon Pops, I collect pretty much a good number specifically the anime figures like the Dragon Ball and the My Hero Academia ones but the Pokemon line is by far my favorite thus far just because they've managed to do something wholly unique with this line that they haven't really been able to do with any of the other lines anyway guys it's time for me to go ahead and get out of your hair but before I let you go I gotta hit you up with the social media links you can hit me up on Twitter at nice1983. You can email me at nice1983 at gmail.com. You can hit me up on Facebook, facebook.com slash Nintendo Power Zone. If you're a fan of the Nintendo Power Zone podcast, you can always download new episodes on iTunes, Google Play Music, stream new episodes on Spotify and Stitch Radio. But if you want to watch the video version of the podcast, you can always watch new episodes right here on YouTube, youtube.com slash Nintendo Power Zone. Anyway, guys, if you like this content, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And remember to stay fresh. Deuces.